Welcome back to HouseboatGraphics.com. Uh, this is a video tutorial on uh, some of the more uh, intermediate and advanced uh, editing techniques that we can do on our site. Uh, so we're going to click right here to get started, which is going to take us to our products page. Uh, we have six different items to choose from right now, including boat names, striping, etch glass decals, life rings with custom graphics, uh, CF numbers, and flags. Uh, for this tutorial, we're going to go and uh, start a boat name project. So uh, once you click on that, uh, it brings you to this site, to so this page where we have a, a bunch of a uh, bunch of ideas. Basically, these are all pre-designed templates that um, that you can use. You should think of these basically like starting points uh, because you can change pretty much everything about it uh, once you choose one. So you can see it comes in standard sizes, 24 by 80 is pretty close to what I want though. And again, you can you can adjust all this uh, further down. So after choosing one of those, it's going to bring me to this screen. Uh, I'm going to say uh, click here to start design. And, uh, and that takes me into the, uh, the online designer. You can see my Aquahola template loaded right here uh, in the preview. Uh, before I do anything though, what I want to do is sign in. Um, this is not required, however, uh, if you register on our site, which is free, uh, you'll be able to save your uh, projects and uh, revisit them later on, make changes to them, adjust sizes. Uh, I highly recommend uh, registering for our site and, uh, and logging in. So uh, on second thought, my, uh, my dimensions aren't quite going to work here. I just realized that I can only go six foot wide. So I'm going uh, to change my product size right here to 72 inches wide, say set, and you can see that updates uh, in the preview. So the next thing I want to do is change my name. So I'm going to uh, click on Aquaholic here in the preview. You can see that it highlights. On the left, you can see all the editing options available for uh, for that particular item. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is uh, highlight the name and type in what I want it to be. Say update text, and then you'll see in the preview that that uh, updates. Next thing I want to do is uh, change the font. So I'm going to click on uh, fonts here on the left and you can see uh, all these options appear. Uh, there are quite a few of them. Uh, just look through them all and find something you like and you can always change it later. So here's one I like. I'm going to uh, click on that and it's going to change on the artboard. Now when it comes to uh, changing the proportions of it, um, all you have to do is select it, and you can see if I click, uh, drag it from the bottom here, it's going to adjust it uh, vertically. If I grab it from the side, it'll adjust horizontally. If I uh, drag it from the corner, it adjusts proportionally. And if I click it anywhere in the middle, I can just drag it to a, a new location. So uh, next I want to change the colors, so I'm going to go over to the left and click on the Colors tab. And uh, this is uh, for choosing the color of the text. I'm going to make mine yellow. You can see in the preview that it's yellow with a, with a white stroke right now. Uh, it's like that by default, but it can be changed. Uh, so I'm going to click on the outline. And I'm, uh, I could choose uh, a few options here. You can either do a, a single stroke or a double stroke around the outside, like one outline or two outlines. You can change the color of it by clicking here. Uh, I want to put an orange stroke on it, so you can see that updates in the background. If you want to uh, make the stroke thicker, just click on this button right here. Uh, it could be anywhere from 0 to 40. If I want to shrink it, then I just click this button right here. And that's a six. Works for me. So I'm going to close that screen. Resize things a little. Uh, next thing I want to do is uh, is make a uh, is to warp that, that text, make it follow a curve. There's a bunch of different options here you can see. Uh, I recommend just playing with all of them until you find something that you like. Uh, you can also do a, a radial arc, which 
change the uh, the arc amount, which I'm going to do right here. And you can see that updates up top. I'm going to close that menu and uh, stretch this to some proportions that I like a little bit better. Next, I want to adjust the uh, the background shape. So all I have to do is click on that, and you can see that that, uh, that is highlighted. Uh, and I can now adjust the dimensions and proportions of that. Okay, so um, that's going to work for me right there. Uh, let's change the colors of that shape in the background. So uh, you can see I have it highlighted right now. I have it selected. I'm going to go over here to the bottom left and uh, click on this colors tab. And this is going to show me the three colors that are used on this particular uh, object. you got dark blue, light blue, and white. Again, you just want to play with this until you find something that you like. Uh, but I'm going to uh, change each of these. So I'm going to select the, uh, the top one and click on the color that I'd prefer it to be. I'm going to click on the middle one, click on the color that I want it to be. Click on the white here and change that to a light blue. Say apply changes to, uh, to make those color changes. See that updates there with my new colors. Okay, so now what I want to do is uh, I want to add some clip art. So I'm going to click on that item and you can see all these categories come up here. Um, there's tons of clip art available to, to browse through. Um, you could search for something specific at the top just by typing that in and uh, searching. It'll show all the categories that something uh, there's a match for. Uh, you can look through those and find something you like. Uh, this one right here is going to work for me just fine. So if you notice, um, you can select items by clicking on them on the left in this area. If I click in the middle, then the, uh, the background shape uh, is selected. If I click right here, uh, the text is selected. Uh, and that works exactly the same as clicking on an object in the, uh, the preview area. I click on the text, that's selected. If I click on this gear, that's selected. So I'm going to adjust his proportions a little bit. And I like it there, but I'd prefer it were in front of the text. So you have two buttons here. One says layer up, one says layer down. Uh, if you click on this one, it'll bring it to the front. If you click on the other, uh, the other one, uh, on that. So uh, now it's at the front. I just need to adjust the colors. I'm going to change that uh, dark blue to a navy. Apply changes, and uh, there it is. Looks pretty good to me. So uh, before we go any further, I'm gonna I'm gonna save my design. Uh, since I'm registered, I'm able to do this. I'm gonna say save current uh, design. Maybe I want to uh, I want to think about it a little bit and work on it some more later. Uh, maybe I want to use the same design to make something else that we offer in the future, like a flag or something to that effect. Uh, so it's, it's a good idea to save all of your artwork. It's important to note that um, the price for your sticker is going to be determined by what it says right here at product size. So right now it's going to give you the price for a sticker 72 inches by 24 inches. Um, if your graphic only fills up half the space, it's still going to charge you the whole thing. So make sure your graphic goes all the way to the edge of the artboard uh, to make sure you get your money's worth. So uh, when I click preview price here, it's going to come up with a, a price for me. Uh, the price for one unit, the price for two units. Uh, most people are going to want to get two uh, houseboat names, so I'm just going to change quantity to two. After the card updates, I will have a uh, description of what I'm, uh, what I'm about to buy here. Uh, if I want to, I can uh, design something else and add it to the cart, but in this case, uh, I'm just going to stick with the names for today, so I'm going to say Submit Order, and that's going to take me to my checkout screen where I'm just going to fill out all my information for shipping and billing, uh, just like you would on any other site. So as you can see, there's a, there's a lot of options on here, and uh, I only showed you a small portion, so I recommend just uh, trying everything. 
it can be a lot of fun.